Bay Bruins against the second seeded Iowa State Cyclones. Earlier tonight, Michigan State overcame a 14 point second half deficit, scored the last 17 points in the game, and defeated Syracuse going away. They now await the winner of game two Saturday night. Good evening once again, everybody. Vern Lundquist along with Bill Raftery. We welcome you back to the Palace at Auburn Hills. As in game one, a much anticipated point guard matchup in this one, Bill. Jamal Tinsley of Iowa State and Earl Watson of UCLA. Let's talk a little bit about Iowa State. Well, Iowa State, you think of Marcus Pfizer. He jumps right out at you, Vern. 23 points a game. He runs the floor. He's got wonderful hands. You look at the accolades. He deserves all of them. He may be as good a college basketball player as you will see. But then you counter that with the point matchup two outstanding performers who can handle the basketball get their players involved they push it they break the defense down you can just see Watson's assist looking for people Tinsley's ability Mel shows it takes it back it's on the string a little yo-yo he's a tease he draws the D puts it down a little suckage the blow by he's got some magic in the lane a little finger roll at the end but then on occasion if it's a deep one that's necessary he'll give it once in a while he'll take it himself just solid basketball and counter that with Earl Watson who all of a sudden I think totally believes in himself long passes a trademark the people around the rim that can finish are extraordinary but if you back it up to play the guys around the rim, he can knock it down with a little nylon. Steve Lavin in his fourth year as a head coach at UCLA, 35 years of age. And his starting lineup has Capono, the freshman, Moiso, Sean Farnham, the only senior on the ball club, Earl Watson, and Billy Knight in the backcourt. Iowa State starting five. Stevie Johnson and Marcus Pfizer, the first team All-American. A three-guard offense, Cantrell Horton, Jamal Tinsley, and Michael Nurse at the two-guard and 44-year-old Larry Eustachy in his second season as the head coach of the Iowa State Cyclones. The officiating crew today, Ted Valentine, Donnie Gray, and Carl Hess. And we are underway from the Palace at Auburn Hills. D.D. Johnson puts it in the hands of Jamal Tinsley. And UCLA, Vernon Lundquist goes zone with minimum principles. Nice little dumped out of Pfizer. And quickly they attack inside, which you have to do against that matchup. Billy Knight gets it in the corner for UCLA. Straight up minimum. Iowa State. Watson guarded by Michael Nurse. Now Moiso, he's got Johnson on him, the 6'4". Four. Forward. Long shot from Capono's not there. And Knight knocks it out of bounds. Iowa State ball. And Vern, uh, Larry Eustachy, I'm sure, very unhappy with the closeout on Capone. But right here, the ability to dive to the rim, that matchup, it's vulnerable to dribble penetration and a little inside post up. The problem, I think, for Pfizer will be the length of the inside big people of UCLA. Now Moiso comes over to front on Pfizer. Iowa State works it into the corner for Tinsley, takes the jumper, got it. Boy, well, that's a good sign for Cyclones. Sure, I think they can do damage with the dribble. I think UCLA tonight's going to have to play a lot more man-to-man. -man. This club can turn the corner for Iowa State. Jamal Tinsley in game one of the playoffs had a career-high 26 points. Here's Watson from the corner. Drains one. So, I, it's so tough of late. And just think, Ryan Billy actually started near the end of the year. All of a sudden, the last six games, on a roll. Watson, who had a transcendent game in game two with 17 points, 16 assists, no turnovers in 26 points. In 26 minutes, rather. Pfizer and Van Zurich gets the rebound. That one's short. The follow by Zurich is good. How about that little rotation by Zurich? The block at the one end on Pfizer and the problem elevating over those inside people and then running the floor. Big Dan. Tinsley, Cantrell Horton wearing number four. Now, Michael Nurse, who is a terrific shooter, misfires from 15. And you can just see the ability to blow by with the one bounce. You get a good look. Now, Watson backs out. Watson on Nurse. Pfizer has Gadzurik. There's the bump from Gadzurik. And the pass to Moiso, who goes baseline. Rebound, Tinsley. And Jamal Tinsley wants to run. Alley oop, Michael Nurse. Quick. And then that's another factor. The foot speed of all five, including Pfizer, is incredible. UCLA big guys, they're going to be exhausted. It may force Lavin to play a little bit smaller with just one big guy. 
a decided height advantage for UCLA, but Lavin says he can go small and uh, more than adequately. And, and the big thing, I think, is the big guys have to run back and see the ball as they go back. That didn't happen the last trip. Little jump hook, Gad Zurich. Part of this eclectic front line for UCLA. He's from Holland. Moiso, a French citizen who was born in Guadalupe in the West Indies, and Capono is somewhere from South California. Capono with a new headband today. <laughs> uh, up he's, and under. A, he's a character, you're right. I'll teach you a nice little, little play there using the rim to ward off. Pfizer has four. Gansurik is fouled. Oh, go the other way. Offensive foul. And a reminder for those of you expecting the Wisconsin Badgers and LSU will get you out to Albuquerque for the tip at 10:22 Eastern Time. Game two there as Purdue and Gene Cady advance. And, and you know I'm looking at Gene, of course, so tough defensively. Brian Cardinal. I'm looking at the UCLA big guys, Vern. They're bent over early here. That's not a good sign. Moiso and Gajoric a little bit fatigued. Jerron Rush makes his first appearance. And how he has energized this team since coming off the NCAA dictated suspension on March 4th. He has blended in nicely, would you say? <laughs> From the corner, Cantrell Horton. Nope. Rebound, Earl Watson. Three on three. He's got Capono's right side. Oh, pretty. Beautiful move. Oh, what a nifty move. He turned the speed up and he lopes like the beach guy he is, the boogie boarder. But all of a sudden, up a notch and a good look by Watson. Both teams four of seven. Out of bounds off UCLA. Remember, we talked the other night about Capona's ability to stretch the D. Gets all the way to the sideline and here pushes the pedal down. Little kids finish at the end with the ability to shoot and you put that in the mix. He's a tough out. Jason Capono, the second leading scorer as a freshman ever in UCLA history. Ron McLean leads the way in the corner. Pfizer gets the loose ball. And then puts a shoulder down, takes the jumper. Nope. Moiso rebound. 9 8 UCLA leads. Now, this is what's impressive about Iowa State. They're half court man to man. They are aggressive. They deny. They put foot, good foot speed and they cover the post pretty well. But here, Johnson gambled and paid almost. Capano fires it to Moiso, who looked uh, almost unsuspecting at the other end. Tinsley, no rebound. Jerron Rush. Quick out in the pass. There are not numbers, so he <laughs> takes it back to Capono for three. Wow. Uh, he's got a little flair, too, doesn't he? So does this guy, yeah. Jamal Tinsley. And he gets a little nickel dimer with the hands in as Earl Watson comes back to cover. Well, not surprisingly, they're playing this as a 94-foot game. Woo-woo, a little excitement. Time called. 9-8 Bruins lead. Let's go to Armin Katea. Thanks, Vern. Some late word on Earl Watson and an injured left eye. On Monday, he had that laser surgery to correct not one but two tiny tears in that retina of the left eye. Physically, he told me he's fine. Mentally, it's a different story. He said he was concerned about, apprehensive about driving down the lane, possibly re-injuring it. He hasn't drived in, driven down the lane yet. We'll see what happens. Back to you. All right, Armin. What a game he had against Maryland. Yeah, wrap it up and wrap this guy up too. Nice screen to get <laughs> Pfizer. Hi Pfizer on the inbounds and then they get well. There we go. He's amazing. And that's the one strike. Gary Williams from Maryland said we got to stop it. Larry State we got to stop from Iowa State. You can't get back fast enough. Michael Nurse gets it to Pfizer but he's been unstoppable here in the early going. I, I just think you can't play him in this low post situation against the matchup. I don't think you get the scrape down and the coverage necessary. Pfizer, who had that one for eight start the other night against Auburn, is four for six in the early going here. Loose ball tip won't fall. And Jamal Tinsley comes out of it and says, Michael Nurse, get out of the way. Now, crossover dribble, spin move. My goodness. He is something to watch. Well, we mentioned the other day his title back at home is the abuser because right. of what he does to people with the spin. You get a little dizzy. Bounce into ecstasy. Jerron Rush, no. Nurse with a rebound. And a great checkout, too, by Johnson. Michael Nurse dishes to Richard Evans, who's on the floor for Iowa State. And it's off his hands out of bounds. 
And that's got a little too deep for the hot. How about this spin now? The other day I mentioned a little bit like Earl Monroe. It is heyday. The ability to dominate in that lane. I mean, he just breaks down numbers. I mean, the disadvantage was to him. He had all those blue shirts. Undeterred. Now let's check the lineup for this very deep UCLA team. Matt Barnes is on, number 23. Gadzurik still there. Jerron Rush, Capono, and Watson. And they're trying to establish Capono down, and Nurse played a little bit bigger, and they didn't look. Pretty good defensive stop by Nurse. Jerron Rush back to Matt Barnes. Little leaner, short, but a foul call. Maybe been Evans on that one. And another reminder, those of you expecting Wisconsin and LSU will tip that one off at 10-22. Game two from Albuquerque as the Badgers, another Big Ten team, fight LSU out of the SEC. A little different philosophy. Although LSU can play solid half-court offense, but do you know Wisconsin? I remember one of the players said if we run, I'd pop a hamstring. <laughs> they are patient on that offensive end. Stevie Johnson back on the floor now for Iowa State, and Jason Capono gets a rest. Mentioned that uh, new headband he's donned for tonight. And what, what did you? What did he tell you? A little inside uh, secret with uh, Sweet 16, the symbolism. There's the follow from Rush. Well, he, he's, he's got a guy. He's, he's got commitment, though. He said, "I got a little something for you guys tomorrow." <laughs> Young is in off the bench. UCLA goes much, much, much deeper. Mm -hmm. Than does Iowa State. And quality depth in the right now. Let's see what they got. They got the little. They go. They're exchanging people. It's still the matchup. Kinsley off the tip from Watson. And Larry Eustachian is going to go to his bench here in a moment. Here's Tinsley off the glass into the hands of Jermon Rush. Watson kicks it left side to Rush. Those two first met each other in the sixth grade in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. And uh, they didn't do that alley oop. There's a little small change on the floor this time by Johnson. But do you remember him saying the sixth grade we made passes like that, but it wasn't until eighth grade that Jerron could finish the way he does now, electrifying the high wire. They performed their first alley oop in the eighth grade with the Kansas City 76ers. 14, 14, 12, 54 to go. Watson comes back outside. Brandon Hawkins on the floor now for Iowa State. And screen across for Doug George and Pfizer does a nice job bodying Dan away from the block. Look at the help by Pfizer, real sharp. Gadzurik to Watson, who's guarded by Nurse. Nice pass inside, good position, Gadzurik. But Stevie Johnson comes down with a rebound. Plays so big and tough. I mean, that football mentality of his. Tinsley. Again, and he drove his guy right across the lane with the great footwork, drop steps to the middle. Greg Gumbel in New York will keep track of making appearance now. Started 12 games this year for this Iowa State bunch, then had to sit with a broken metatarsal bone in his left foot. About the time he came back, they lost Paul Shirley, their only legitimate center, a 6'9 man. We might see Shirley tonight. Maybe a surprise, you know, when you're out there chatting with the coaches late at night, you pick some of those things up. He said yeah. he, he's started to practice a little bit. Nice screen by Gutsor. Rush misses, rebound, Michael Nurse. And here comes Jamal Tinsley, picked up by Watson. Oh, <laughs> how about the soft delivery? Oh, the smooch is working. I mean, he's just decimating the defense with the bounce. Newcomer of the year. Watson hasn't been able to contain him, but Watson gets two back. And he wants out, too. Yep, he I mean, sure they, does. They look very tired early. The pace of the game, I would think they're used to that. Uh, but right now, a little bit fatigued. So Watson's going to get a rest. Rico Hines is getting ready to come on. And Vern straight up man to man right now. Capono guards Brandon Hawkins. Back it goes to Tinsley. What a start he's had. This for three. In and out. Tipped. Rants it. Puts it up. Gets the roll. With feel, huh? Uh, bagging around. We've seen him rebound. Uh, trying to deepen at that bench. Earl Watson breathing heavy. Nice double here by Tinsley. Taken away by Jamal Tinsley. At the other end, he goes for the alley-oop. 
But a good job of getting back by Jerron Rush. All the way, took the legs away. Here's the counter. Tinsley with a pretty good defensive stop as well. Whew. Handle the basketball, you can go anywhere. All the way across the lane. The little soft delivery at the end. Tough. They're smaller, but they're throwing ways to kick the ball out of bounds the last trip because he had Johnson on him. Uh, they continue the matchup UCLA, which has been beaten with the dribble. A well, tough look here from so deep. Uh, they weren't organized. Tinsley trying to hit the home run. That's the first turnover for Jamal Tinsley tonight. And here come the Bruins. Ryan Bailey's on the floor now. And operating at the point, Watson goes to the number two. And here's a turnover from Nurse. Johnson and a foul is going to be called on Ryan Bailey. Not a bad play by Ryan Badley, though, to sneak in there on the protection. But Capona was wide open. And all of a sudden, he closed the speed and coverage of Iowa State. Very impressive. Fourteen foul, four on both clubs. With 5.15 to go before the break. Pass into Michael Nurse. Senior from Teaneck, New Jersey. And you just see the coverage a little bit tardy. And look at that. They drag different positions in this matchup. They exchange. Nurse! Mm. Get one! I'll tell you what. He can really stretch you. Very confident shooter. 41% three-point shooter, and that's his 91st of the year. Pfizer goes for the steal. Gadzura gets it back. Up to a seven-point deficit. Now look at Moiso now. He's got Johnson, and they do their high-low. Pretty. Off the front rim, Gadzurik with a miss. Johnson, three on three. Tinsley takes Capono, and a foul is going to be called on the freshman, Jason Capono. That's one on four. Now, what would your high school coach say to you? <laughs> Get it out. Uh, Tinsley, unabashed. His ability and confidence, extraordinary in the open floor. And Jerron Rush comes on for Gadzurik. 15 foul on UCLA. And Tinsley will throw it in. Foul is called on Moiso. Stevie Johnson will shoot two as Moiso picks up his second. And in looking at guys going out of the game, Dan Kozurek just went out. He is exhausted. Uh, if they get foul troubles up front, it's going to be a dilemma. And they have not been able to establish a consistent inside game UCLA against Iowa State's smaller people. Stevie Johnson shoots one more. 6'4", senior out of Beaumont, Mississippi. And they had a pretty good football player. Denver, Johnson, Houston, yeah. right? You, you remember the name, too? Yes, and that, well, there's even say yeah, it's one well, or two at the line. You have been around a while. In fact, you, <laughs> work, you worked those 76er games in Kansas City. Ah, uh, yeah, you're six right. Six and eight grade for <laughs> Watson and Rush. Here comes Tinsley. Look at the big the guy. pass at the other end for Pfizer. Whoa! Vern, he's got the softest hands. Oh, my goodness. The ability to run and then to cradle that ball. Double-digit lead first time. Wasn't a bad pass either. Oh. No, no, great look. You're right, Tinsley. Up and under, got it. Moiso for two. 3.54 to go first half. This is an Iowa State team that won 31 games this year. And believe it or not, they lost the second game of the season to a Drake team that won 11 and 18. In that game, Tinsley went one for 10 and threw the ball away five times. But now look, now he's just thrown it in. And no turnovers, but they're really abusing the match. Watson at the other end gets two. Oh, that's oh no! Did everything but, huh? Pretty. Did almost a 480. Here's Cantrell Horton. They leave him alone. He takes it in and out. Uh, the, the, build, the dribble is just killing you, see. they got to put stops. Pinch. Bailey back to Watson. Here's Jerron Rush. They're really not getting many touches for this team either, you notice? He's going down and through. They don't even reverse the Here ball. Come, and they run it again. Tinsley, crossover. Bailey. Oh. Follow from Johnson. No good. He missed it point blank. This is one of those Tinsley one against three. And Stevie Johnson hitting 67% in the last half of the season. 
he shows that he's not getting the touchdown there with Pfizer. He wants the ball too. Two and a half to go before the break. Bailey, great save. Pfizer. Jamal Tinsley, other end, intercepted by Rush. He goes for it all the time. Yep. He didn't back off. There's no quit in his game. Uh, the ability to beat your guy with the bounce, you gotta respect it. He backs up a little nylon. We'll take you to that game at halftime. Let's return you now to Vern Lundquist and Bill Raftery at the Palace of Auburn Hills. Underneath, Matt Barnes will not fall. Pfizer chases it down, and I think he threw it off of Barnes. Uh, good coordination here. Teddy Valentine saying he saw it. That was certainly the intent, Bill. Pretty good hustle. It depends if, now look at the strength of Pfizer, too. And a good heads up play, doesn't touch his body at the end, and good coordination. Good hustle by both players, too. And Matt Barnes trying to provide a little bit of a lift. UCLA pressure, Steve Lavin changing the look, the last trip. Now the inbound to Tinsley, and here's Marcus Pfizer. They all handle it well. Horton, saved by Michael Nurse. Now Horton looks inside, there's Stevie Johnson, and he misses from point blank range again. And, and he thought the big people were around. Here's the turnover on the kick out pass. Stevie Johnson, all he had to do was go up and knock it down, Vern. Hens oil at the half with Greg and Clark back in our New York studios. Scores and highlights and a live look in at the game in Albuquerque as Wisconsin takes on LSU. Maybe, maybe I ought to go that way with my hair. What do you think? <laughs> He's a hard-working guy. His, his players respect him, and they fought through this year uh, under duress. It's magnificent what he's done at the end of the season here. Steve Lavin. Tinsley kicks it out. UCLA comes in 21 and 11. But hot at the right time of year, aren't, aren't they? they though? They've won eight in a row. At one point, they were sitting at 13 and 11. Went into the desert. Here's the spin move from Cantrell Horton. They are missing easy layups. So they're getting in. They just can't finish. Watson. Jerron Rush for three. Luiso gets the offensive board. And UCLA cold as well. Now here comes Tinsley. Oh, it's only one on two. It's his advantage. I mean, if it's one on three, sometimes he might yank it back out. Uh, but he creates and a lot of times coaches feel you may not get that good a shot and they were going after one of their burn and it started with Tinsley and Watson and then it uh, dispersed or dif uh, I like that did you just happen to see that Marcus Pfizer and uh, Earl Watson just slap one another five just to calm things down just play uh, Tinsley just taking advantage. He can really do some damage. And there's the bang and Donnie Gray right on top of it. And it spilled a little, little energy right now. Jamal Tinsley shoots one and one. 67% free throw shooter. Now you're beginning to know the story of Jamal Tinsley. Never graduated from high school, wound up in Tilden, but he himself says, as Marcus Pfizer gets a rest, in four years of exposure to high schools in the Brooklyn area, he probably attended class for a total of a month and a half. He became a legend of the playgrounds, played in an AAU All-Star game in Las Vegas the summer of 97. There were 200 and some coaches there. He was named MVP, and it was then that he began to turn his life around. He took advantage of an opportunity to go to California without a high school degree. There's the entry pass, and it's taken by Cantrell Horton. He's got Tinsley left side. Jamal Tinsley. Up and no, but the follow is there from Stevie Johnson. Oh, they're getting down in numbers. UCLA not recovering, but the punishment with the bounce, so destructive by Iowa State. Oh, the deep dagger by Earl Watson. Oh, does that help them out? They need a refresher. But it has been an exhausting first half for these teams. Watson with the buzzer beater gets UCLA back to within 12. 
We'll check in with Armin Kateya. How does he know that? <laughs> He's supposed to be coaching. We'll continue after this message and a word from your local station. Along with Clark Kellogg here in our studio, Iowa State with a 40 to 28 lead on UCLA. Whenever you have a dominant big man, there is usually a catalyst somewhere on the floor. And for Iowa State, that's Jamal Tinsley. He's been outstanding in pushing the ball ahead. He's excellent at creating opportunities off the dribble, but he's not alone in that regard. Michael Nurse can do it as well. Cantrell Horton, and that's where UCLA has struggled. They haven't come up with enough stops to ignite their transition game. As a result, they're down 12. For the record, Jamal Tinsley, 13 points, six rebounds, three assists in the first half. Right after this. Pennzoil at the half has been sponsored by Pennzoil, specially formulated for today's stop and go driving. Stop, go, Pennzoil. At half, the Cyclones with a 50 to 34 lead on the UCLA Bruins. Let's take you there live and join Bert. the year. Look at this penetration again and the finish. Count it, Johnson, but the magic in the lane. The perimeter play has just been extraordinary. Just get yourself in position to do some damage. How about the deft little delivery there? I mean, soft, catchable pass. The kiss at the end and the chance for three for Stevie Johnson. 3rd foul on Capono. Heads are down a little bit firm. Yes. You see the UCLA had a lot of time. You can just get yourself in the mental frame to attack on the offense and be sound on the defensive end. Johnson short with the free throw, a 16-point lead, under 16 to play. Jerron Rush back on the floor. Matt Barnes is there, so is Capono, Moiso, Watson playing with four fouls. And the alley you tipped away by Pfizer. What a read. Well coached, well schooled. Great understanding of the defensive principles, Vern. Cyclones are rolling through Auburn Hill. This is Armin Katain back in Auburn Hills, where Larry Eustacey has given sort of a new meaning to the Motor City. On Tuesday night, when the team showed up at the hotel, I asked where Larry was. They said, well, he's driving from Ames. I said, what? Yeah, he likes to drive by himself. Well, it's about a 10-hour journey. Larry did it in about eight hours. He says he likes to be alone by himself. He's away from the team. The team's away from him. But he said, don't make a mistake. I'll drive if I have to, or I'll fly if I have to. He goes, I've got one of the top five recruiting cops classes in the country and I didn't get them on skateboard. <laughs> All right, Armin, no, and they also played in Hawaii and he said he didn't backstroke to get there. He, well, but he also told us all, I do not like he, to I fly. Don't, I don't enjoy it. I would say this though, if I were doing as well as he were doing, uh -huh. I would be seen. I would be in my car. <laughs> I have bells around my neck as I walk through the airport. You have been seen. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, well, right now UCLA in that position where they, they've just got to turn the screws up a notch. And let's see if they go straight up man. Michael Nurse comes right to Horton. Pfizer guarded by Moiso. And that one taken away. Here's Jason Capono. In the corner. So Iowa State. Constant. Did he get one? Yes, they did. Now Steve trying to shake it up himself now. Change the look, but you still got to score. Uh, Steve Lavin knows if you can ring the bell a little, then you can do some coaching, make some adjustments. Steve Lavin's team down by 14, however, with 13.22 to go. There's Pfizer with the inbound pass from Stevie Johnson. And he can break the press himself. Moiso backs off. Barnes tries to play him in this matchup. Look at this kid. Uh, <laughs> battle for it. And it's touched last by UCLA. This will be Iowa State's ball. Larry Eustacey telling us yesterday that he thinks this may be the year his team has to make the run. Michael F uh, Marcus Pfizer, a junior, and his stock has risen to such a degree that there's almost no question that he's going to elect to leave school and go to the NBA. He hasn't made that decision yet. But uh, all indications are that it's a probability rather than a possibility. 52-38. Marcus Pfizer. With another big game. There's the inbound pass to Horton. Four on four. 
Javon Rush, number four, and Cantrell Horton, number four. Pfizer. Uh, uh, uh. What do you need, huh? It's amazing. We talked the other day about the ability of all the perimeter people to dribble. Well, if you're on this team and you've got to follow suit, that's how Pfizer undoubtedly has improved his ability to bounce. Matt Barnes. Left side, Ray Young. Moiso, Young, Barnes, Jerron Rush, Watson for UCLA. Bruins. And uh, the foul is going to be called on Pfizer. Now That's his third. Well, they're saying it was the hand first. Do you remember Larry Eustachie talking about the defense of Marcus Pfizer, how much he had to improve? Now, the foul, the referee is saying the foul was earlier, and then the, the pratfall. But his ability to bounce and get a fortuitous bounce, part of the success is he gets a little bit of a rest down just to protect and make sure with that third personal foul that they don't have any further damage. So he will uh, get a rest at the 12:33 mark, and Martin Rancic takes his place. Rush inbounds. Establish inside now without Pfizer. Attack, get to the foul line. Go strong. Little lefty jump hook. There you go. And now 54-40 with a chance at the free throw line. All of a sudden. The excitement. They've got to get themselves immersed in the, in, in, in the game. They're just not after it, Vern. Nice little job of kiss at the end, and nobody helping out on the double. Moiso is going to go to the line, shooting one. Three point play, 54 41. And the pressure applied by UCLA. Now, Tinsley. Tough guy to double. Oh, beautiful pass, and they bring it back outside. Jamal Tinsley gets the screen from Stevie Johnson. Rancic, good position established by Moiso, and a foul in the backcourt on Tinsley. Not a good one, and right about now, Larry stacy has got to figure out if this thing changes totally, at what point do I put Marcus Pfizer back in? I'm thinking 10, burn, 10 points, that is, that he might change it. And Larry's just not happy with that last trip. Not a heads-up play. One of the few mistakes of judgment for Mel Tinsley. Five team fouls on both clubs now. And one more second off the clock, he would have gotten a television timeout. As it is, it'll be coming at the next dead ball. Jerron Rush for three. Big Offensive rebound. board. And a foul on Rancic. And here comes Paul Shirley, who has been out for the last 12 games with a broken bone in his right foot. Paul Shirley, a six foot nine inch junior from Meredith, Kansas, will be on the court when we come back. Let's get you back to the Palace of Auburn Hills. Vern Lundquist and Bill Raftery. 7-19 to go. 61-43. Cyclones. Let's check the lineup on the floor. Cantrell, Horton, Jamal, Tinsley, Pfizer, Michael Nurse, and Stevie Johnson. And it's been all of the use of this dribble that's been so destructive. It's wire to wire there. Cantrell can do Horton. Blow by. Under seven, we've got 6.50 to go. And the Bruin win streak at eight is in jeopardy. Cantrell Horton comes back. Remember Phil Ford his heyday, the fourth corner here? Sure. Spent, this was his little play. So I'm doing this against Vegas. In Atlanta, the year in the world. Underneath, Johnson from Tinsley, 4-2. Oh, they got head spinning for UCLA now. Eight assists for Jamal Tinsley. Rush, nice move. Pretty. Capono with a very quiet night. Timeout is called by UCLA with five minutes and 59 seconds left. And Jamal Tinsley having a night to remember. Find Stevie Johnson for two.
Don't you wonder what he's listening to? <laughs> well, if you're a UCLA fan, you're probably not listening to us right now. <laughs> 559 to go. Iowa State. A 31 and 4 record. Champions of the Big 12. Their only losses in conference play. Two in overtime. Oklahoma, Colorado. Larry Eustace, in his second season as head coach, played junior college ball in California. He was a point guard, played at Citrus College, then went to Long Beach State where he got his degree in 1979. Here's Tinsley. Back outside, it comes to Pfizer. Pretty look, huh? Nice block by Meliso. Real good reaction. The run out, one of the few. Well, they didn't get the dunk, but they did get it off the glass for Jerron Rush. Well, Horton's going to be in trouble, though, no, Larry Eustace. He didn't want any of those strikes. Michael Moose. They don't need much of an opening, Vern. Watson, Capono. That one's off UCLA. CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Backcourt scoring. Iowa State 29 to 11 advantage. Get complete NCAA tournament coverage at cbs.sportsline.com. I think they took the challenge out there, the little guys. There's a little two on one. Hold on. Tinsley. He can draw him, can he? A little sleight of hand, the cup. He's getting very close to a triple double. He has one. Earlier this year against Missouri, here's Watson. Tinsley with 14 points, nine assists, and nine rebounds now. He gets robbed of another assist. Yes, huh? he does. Well, he's confident, and he backs it up. Great organization. Always watch the cup here, Vern. A little semi. If the defense went, he would have kept it. A little hide and seek in the open floor, and the strip back. It's an amazing story. The transformation of Jamal Tinsley off the streets of Brooklyn to the campus in Ames, Iowa. It is a wonderful story that things like that can happen. And a friendship. Earl Watson has fouled out. Well, they could start next year where they the last six games, seven games, eight games. This was this team found themselves, I think. And tonight, fatigue early seemed to be a factor, and they end up chasing the bouncing penetrators. Jerron Rush heads to the bench. Well, we were talking in the first half, Bill, about how uh, Earl Watson came out of Kansas City, Kansas, met Tim Floyd, who was then the coach at Iowa State. Really liked him. He had long wanted to go to UCLA, but they didn't show much interest in him early on. Mm -hmm. So he made an unofficial visit to Iowa State. And then Jim Herrick called and said, uh, we have a scholarship. And Earl Watson said, I'm going west. The tradition, huh? Want him over. 4.38 to go. Look at the continuing, the harassing style of D. You get the feeling these games are easier for Iowa State than their practices. <laughs> That's right. In the lane, Ray Young, no. Larry Eustace says, run the fourth play. This team travels its fans so well. These folks from Iowa State who fill up Hilton Coliseum for every home game. They also draw 11,000 per game, by the way, for their women's program. And the women's team is also in the Sweet 16. And they are enjoying this trip to Auburn Hills. Nice house for Tinsley with the almost had the turnover, the jump ball. Hell ball, possession arrow. Greg Gumbel in New York. We'll get you back to Auburn Hills for the finish of UCL up to Auburn Hills. Two minutes and change remaining in the Iowa State game against UCLA. Vern Lundquist and Bill Rapp. Steele. Johnson. Another assist for Jamal Tinsley. 11 assists to complement 14 points. Deserves the accolades. He has just been on top of his game. Wonderful understanding and feel. 
Here they come again. From the corner, Michael Nurse, yes! And he's got the stroke and the follow through. Well, his brother, CBS Operations Manager, CBS Radio, Anthony, smiling at his performance. Nurse is out. Sixteen points. And Larry Eustace getting ready to flood the floor now. Brandon Hawkins, Richard Evans, Martin Rancic are on. It's over for UCLA. It continues for Iowa State. Marcus Pfizer gives way to Paul Shirley. Nice, huh? Very. Very touching. Well, they have seen this grow together. Jamal Tinsley, 14 points, 11 assists, and 9 rebounds. Marcus Pfizer. Bailey hits the first free throw, 16 points, and 9 rebounds. Well, they got to get ready quickly, Vern. They're very tough minded Michigan State Club. Awesome defensively, terrific rebounding team. They're going to need every bit of energy. Seventy-seven, fifty-five, one twenty-four to go. There's the trap. Brandon Brooks is on the floor as well, the freshman for UCLA. One minute to go. Brown was so quick at getting out of traps. Nice penetration. And Bailey's played well these minutes. Shirley gets the rebound. Knight goes for the steal. Puts it in the hands of Michael Nurse with 45 seconds remaining. Cyclones are going to be 32 and 4. Well, they're happy. Bob Boyd's happy. He had to watch UCLA from across town. Former coach at USC. One of Larry's strong influences. Brandon Hawkins. Iowa State Cyclones and a foul. Chevrolet most valuable players of the game from UCLA, Jerome Moiso and Jamal Tinsley, one rebound short of a triple double for Iowa State. Executive producer of CBS Sports, Terry Ewert, the coordinating producer of NCAA basketball is Bob Dikas. Today's game produced by Bob Monsbach and directed by Mike Arnold. The senior producer of CBS Sports is Eric Mann. Remote coordinating producers, Vin DeVito and David Winner. Road to the Final Four, directed by Bob Matina. Sideline producer of today's game was David Hoffman. The associate director of today's game, Andy Goldberg. The broadcast associates, Jeff St. Araman and Eric Talent. Our field technical manager, Doug Fleetham. And the technical director, Craig Farrell. 7 o'clock Eastern time from the Palace at Auburn Hills, Iowa State, Michigan State. Honey, let it. Oh, yeah. That's a painful nickel dime. Little small change, Donnie. Put the whistle in. Everybody wants to get on the bus, Gus. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> well, you know, the UCLA guys want to get going. You bet. UCLA season will come to an end 21 and 12. Iowa State's continues. Well, it sure does. Maybe a start, though, for UCLA in confidence and what they can accomplish. Steve Levin, young, energetic. Got this team to play very well down the stretch. And when it sets in, it's just terrible. You know, no more playing this year. Oh, oh, oh. 
Rebound, Shirley. And he inadvertently put a foot up and he got John, Sean Farnham. So the foul is going to be called on Paul Shirley. Absolutely inadvertent. Yeah. Don't forget our coverage continues tomorrow. Florida Duke and Tulsa Miami in games one. And Seton Hall, Oklahoma State, North Carolina, Tennessee in the second game. Farnham. Bailey. Into the corner, out of bounds, UCLA ball. Pretty good sight on the other end there. Huh? Iowa State rejoicing. My only concern is that Larry Eustace has enough tunics for the trip. <laughs> Final four, Farnham last shot, not there. Shirley with another rebound. This one's in the books. Iowa State Cyclones roar through Auburn. And they pound UCLA, 80. 56. Iowa State, Michigan State, Midwest Regional Final here Saturday night. Greg and Clark along in New York when we can return after these messages. Greg Gumbel in New York. Iowa State has advanced with an 80 to 56 victory over UCLA. That ends the action.